What's up, everybody? You tapped into the Purple Pocket Podcast, and it's your boy, R.A.P. You know what I'm saying? All right, I'm going to go through a list, man. These are going to be my top five wide receivers. Now, let me just remind everybody, I want y'all to comment down in the comment section, and y'all give me y'all top five. Everybody's top five might vary, all right? I'm an 80s baby. These are players that I actually got to enjoy watching and things like that. So, no, I'm not going to have, you know, receivers that played in the 70s and the 60s or even the 80s, all right? All of these players are going to be from 98 and up that I enjoyed watching, right? That I was able to actually understand like, hey, these guys are something serious, right? And these videos are going to be quick. They're going to be short and sweet. Um, I'm just going to kind of run through the names, give a little bit of why I actually love the player. Um, and yeah, and you guys can comment down, man. Please comment down under and give me y'all top five, man, in the order that y'all that y'all think they are from one to five and we'll just compare each other's list man we'll see we'll see what everybody got you know so let's let's just kick this off like this number one for me randy moss man is that even a surprise to anybody okay randy moss is my top he's my first wide receiver on the list because he is the sole reason how i became a vikings fan why i became a vikings fan he was my idol growing up I wanted to be like Randy. I when I played football, I wanted number 84. I wanted to be like Randy. It was like how basketball players want 23 and they want to be like Jordan. It was like that with me with Randy. And I mean, just being a top five, of course he is. And he's always going to be that for the Vikings because he was just that dominant. All right. There's not many wide receivers out there you can compare to my boy, Randy, Ma Randy Moss, man. All cash homie. You hear me? All right. Number two, Chris Carter. All right, I got to watch Chris Carter play alongside Randy Moss. And Chris Carter and Randy Moss duo, man, was crazy. All right, Chris Carter had good hands. This man, would, if it came, if it came in his vicinity, he was catching the ball. You know, we, you couldn't have a better number two than Chris Carter. All right, Chris Carter would have been a number one wide receiver on any other team in the NFL if Randy Moss wasn't on the team. Chris Carter was the number one option. All right, so that, I mean, that's just plain and simple. That's what it is. All right, number three, Justin Jefferson. All right, Justin Jefferson, I know it's early in his career, but you can just see the potential. You can see that he's going to go down as one of the greatest Vikings wide receivers. So it just is what it is, man. I love Justin Jefferson. I love his swag, his energy, everything he brings to the table. He deserves to be on this top five list. There's no reason, man. He created a dance that took the, um, this, the NFL by storm. Everybody wanted to be like him. I mean, he's just an impactful player. And his skills, you just can't argue, man. I mean, he is one of the best wide receivers in the league. All right. Number four, Adam Thielen. Now, Adam Thielen's number four on my list, man. I love Adam Thielen. He was, he's like, it's hard to say. He's still kind of my favorite player on the Vikings. I just love Adam Thielen, man. I just love how he just comes to work, handle his business. Not very cocky, you know what I mean? But just shows, you no, know, he shows his, his trash talking. It's really just, he just shows it with his gameplay, man. He shows it on the field. He's hard to stop. Sure hands. I mean, he got a highlight reel out of this world, man. You go watch all his catches. I mean, it's crazy. This guy can play wide receiver. All right. And number five, this one might be a little controversial, but my number five on my list is Percy Harvin. All right. I love Percy Harvin. When we had Percy Harvin, this man was a savage. You hear me? Not only on returning balls, but just catching, catching the ball and being able to Make something happen after the catch, man. Yak. You know, his yak was crazy. All right. Like this guy was just that good. He just was. I mean, if it wasn't for the migraines, man, Percy Harvin would have stayed with the Vikings. It, he, his stats would have been out of this world, man. He was that type of guy. I loved Percy Harvin. He deserves number five on my list. This is my top five list of wide receivers. All right. We got Randy Moss, Chris Carter. Um, Adam the I mean Justin Jefferson Adam Thielen and then you already know what it is man Percy Harvin man I know people are gonna be like you got Percy Harvin on your top five 
Vikings wide receiver list? I do. You know, y'all put y'all list down in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Show, you the, show the support to the channel, man. I appreciate all the love we've been getting lately, man. It's been a blessing. We're trying to hit that thousand mark before the season starts, before the season kicks off. And, you know, content will ramp up when training camp starts. You know you got to be tapped in because we're going we gonna to be bringing y'all the best content, man, in the Vikings industry. You hear me? So, hey, appreciate y'all tapping in. I'll let your boy. Appreciate everybody for tapping into the Purple Pocket Podcast. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on. Purple Gang.